Really proud of my guys. Um, I thought they played really, really hard. I think, uh, you know, I got a lot of respect for Porter. I think he's a great coach. Um, they got a really good team, a veteran team that I didn't think it was going to be. Um, didn't think the score was going to be like it was. And um, we just played well, played with a lot of energy. Um, just really proud of of my guys. They did everything I asked them to do. They've really been able to take scouting reports. They've been really able to grow up and, and do some things that was impressive. So um, they're making great progress. Really proud of them. They grew up. Um, today was a really hard day. And uh, a lot of you guys didn't see him at the game today, but Devin Williams is done for his career. Um, wow. It's probably the hardest day that I've had in a long time telling one of your sons or one of your kids that they can't play the game they love. And um, I got to give it to my guys because uh, I was going to keep it from them till after the game. Um, but I told them because Devin came into the office and was – you know, he wasn't doing very well, but Devin's got a spinal cord contusion. Uh, he's got stenosis, which is the narrowing of the spinal column. Um, and he's very fortunate that uh, his injury wasn't as serious as it was uh, at New Mexico State. So he's been advised after seeing a specialist to not play anymore his career. Um, so I just wanted you guys to know that. He's going to be available tomorrow at my press conference if you guys want to talk to him. Um and, and please, I know you have to ask the tough questions to, like Tim Williams is going to come down here. He's going to talk about, he'll, he'll talk about Devons, but he doesn't know anything about the injury. He doesn't know anything about the medical part of it, but um, they're a little shook. I mean, they were shook down at New Mexico State, but I got to give my guys a lot of credit for being mentally tough and really resilient and playing the way they did to honor him was amazing. So that's what our program's about. And, um, you know, it's going to be hard, but he's going to, he's going to, he's going to graduate um, in the spring. He'll take graduate classes next year. And in some way, um, my boss and I will figure out how to pay his last year of graduate school. But, um, you know, he's just a fantastic kid. But uh, it's just been a really hard day. I mean, we've had, you know, Norm passing and um, everybody. It's just been, it's been a tough month, but – Today was um, one of those things that, you know, I just told him he was blessed and he's got to be positive that uh, he's going to live a normal life, can have a family and kids, and and uh, we'll help him have a great career. So that's about it. Right. 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 Yeah, just just because, you know, he waited his time and uh, he didn't think grass was greener on the other side and he redshirted a year and um, he was going to have a, you know, it hurts us because um, he was going to have a big year for us. You know, it's like I kept telling him that he's going to be the best six man in the country and I kept telling him it every day. But, you know, it's just a bad deal. But, you know, you got to give our guys credit today. I thought Tim Williams was outstanding. Um, you know, you can try to take Elijah Brown and Cullen out of the game, but we just got too many weapons. And um, we can score the ball, and uh, we can do some things offensively that we haven't been able to do in a long time since uh, Kendall and Bear and, and Alex were here. So we got a unique group. Um, so, you know, they played well. Well, I think, Jeff, when you come into games and people are trying to take Cullen out of it and try to take Elijah out of it by, by trapping ball screens or hard hedging ball screens, you know, I, th I think Cullen and Elijah made the right basketball plays to get Tim Williams and, oh, easy shots, and even Sam, easy shots. And it's, it's like the hockey pass. they got to give themselves up when uh, teams are trying to take them out of it. And if they do that, and I mean – I'm sitting right here. I didn't think it'd ever be a 30-point game against Loyola. They're better. I mean, they're good. I mean, they're going to win some games. But um, I like my team, and I told you I like my team. Uh, you know, we've we've been through a lot of adversity in 12 months, but, you know, I think it's paying off for us. One more follow-on, Devin, real quick. Have you ever had a player um, have, like, a season-ending type situation? Well, we had Kim Nowicki that was – he was a medical um, – 
Yeah, and then a, ma- a manual with his with his fib. So, um, you know, a manual's kind of was a deal where he came here and he was disqualified, and then he got cleared, and then once it uh, acted up again, he so it was it was kind of like you never knew. But this is this is hard because you know you're you're trying to meet with his family and do that before the game, and you're with them till from three o'clock to. You know, four o'clock. Then you're trying to get your team ready for a game. It's. I don't want to do it again. How is how's Devin taking this? He's, he's, he's heartbroken. I mean, it's. But to his credit, uh, he has a lot of faith in God, and he has a lot of faith. Happy with his blessings, and you know he understands how blessed he was, and how it could have been worse, and it wasn't. So, you know, I can't really. I know he's very visibly upset, and it's going to be that way. But we got great we got great support here at the university. Um, we got great people to help him. Um, I know our president. I know my athletic director, and I know everybody on campus will help him. But he's going to get two degrees. I promised his mom and dad he'd graduate from college, but now he's going to get two. So um, it's going to be a positive thing, and he's going to hopefully it's going to galvanize our team. And he's going to really be a big part of that. And he's still going to go on the road. He's still going to do some things. He might just be um, a volunteer coach with the bigs and, and try to do some things and help us. But, you know, so I just told him, I said, uh, we're going to be real positive about it. So he's okay? Yeah, he's fine. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's just got He's just got to take care of it. He's a normal, healthy guy. It's just that he just can't take a chance of playing physical activity in case something would happen. And that's a decision. He was been advised and – you know, I think that's that's what he's going to do. So, I mean, he he we got great doctors here, Doctor Veach, uh, my trainer Corey. Um, you know, our doctor that was with us, Doctor Black, down there at New Mexico State, and all the help we got down there, it was great. But um, he's been advised not to play. So, you know, I think he'll take that and he'll understand that he's got he's blessed that he can go to school and we'll, he'll get in a great career and we'll have a lot of fun with him. Well, I think the guy standing in the room is really, really good. I'm telling him it all the time, and I try to push his buttons a little bit, but he's just so mature and so poised that I can't really get under his skin. I'm able to get under some guy's skins, but he just plays with poise. He knows how to play. Um, You know, I think you saw a guy that can play inside and post and can be a great passer, and that's hard to find. I think Alex Kirk was really good at that. I thought Cam became better at it. Uh, Drew never wanted to pass, but he became better at it. Um, but I think Tim really knows how to play. I think he loves his teammates. I think he's glad he's here. Uh, I think he made a good decision, and it showed by his play. And I think um, he slowly – and he, he'll he tell you if you ask him, the first few games of exhibition in the first game, I think when you sit out a whole year and you don't play game-ready games and you think you just do scrimmage, it's totally different. And I think he's got back into the mix. And um, we were able to run some offense and run some plays to take advantage of what they were doing to us defensively. And we got some easy shots. 42 points in the paint, shoot 61%. Is that just making them pay for double-doubling out? Yeah, if they're, if they're going to take our guards out of the game, we've got enough other weapons that can make some plays. And I think that's evident by what you saw tonight. And I'm proud that they got an opportunity to do that because I've been talking about how they can do that. And it was uh, it was good to see, and it was also good to see um, the unselfishness of Cullen and Elijah not pushing the issue and, and making the right play and, and doing the right thing and trying to get people involved. I just think he just he just kind of rolled onto somebody's foot, but I think he's okay. Well, I just know his his old coach. I didn't I didn't even realize it till we got ready to do starting lineups, and I said, "Hey, your old coach is down there," and he said, "Yeah," with a big smile. But um, you know, he had a great career at Sanford, um, and plus, I know he wants to make sure he goes back to Chicago in the summer and lets them know who who's really um, king of the hill. And I know that's that's a lot of rep there, and and he won't say it, but that's part of Chicago. So I know it's good, and I know Dee Dee's going to be really happy. He's just not that – he's so unassuming. He just – that's him. And, um, you know, I just – I'm just glad he's here. I'm glad I'm able to coach him. I'm glad he's in our program. And, you know, I, I want to thank his mom and dad for trusting us. And, 
um, letting us have him, and he's going to have a great career. I just want to make sure we're doing something tomorrow. You I'm going to have I'm going to try to have Devin here if he's emotionally if he's okay. I'll be yeah. We're going to do the uh, USC, but I'm going to make sure. Devin available if he wants to you know say thank you to everybody and if you guys want to ask him questions and. You know, that's, but I, I, I thought it was m my responsibility to tell everybody instead of be asked why he's not here. And I excused him tonight because he's been going through a lot and his family's here. Yep. Right. Uh, well, I think we put Elijah Brown on him. Um, we did something unique because we did it to Boise State a couple of years ago when Cullen was a freshman. We put Elijah Brown on the point guard, then we put um, Cullen on the shooter, which was Turk, who has broken every record in uh, Lyle history. And we just had Cullen, um, we call no help. And Cullen, just his responsibility is not to let him get it, let him catch it. And then Elijah's able to guard the point guard, so it worked out for us. Well, it's awesome. Just because you know you're giving a guy um, you're giving a guy a chance that just I mean you you should have seen his face when his picture went up in the practice facility. I mean he he lives breathes it. I mean he he's the typical Lobo through and through, and he just it's just great to see it. I mean you could tell by how our bench reacted what we think of him. I might. You get a lot of nice stuff when you're a player. It's a little bit different than when you're a manager. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, Dean. Good job, Coach. All right. Lobo scored 42 points out of 75 in the paint tonight. Tim Williams had 22 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks. <coughs> Any extra motivation because it's the Chicago connection and your coach on the staff? Um, well, I try and approach every game the same, but, you know, it's always that added incentive playing against your old coach. And um, me and Milton committed together, and uh, I've known Porter Moser for a long time. They're all good guys. So, uh, of course, you want to do well that game. Did you – when they started doing what they were doing up top with, uh, with Elijah and Cullen, um, I mean, your eyes just get big when, when they – Right. Um, when they doubled uh, Cullen and Elijah, it kind of threw us off at first. But um, once we uh, got in the middle to one of the bigs, there was so much space. Uh, and I think we took advantage of that. Uh, we see, uh, well, in the exhibition season, you guys play CSU Pueblo. Mm -hmm. The coach makes a comment that all you did was shoot layups in the, in the game. Uh -huh. um, did, did you, first of all, did, no. have, did you hear that? that the CSU Pueblo no, I never heard um, that one. Is there any, I mean, why would you do anything other than shoot layups and dunks when they're giving it to you kind of mentality? Yeah, I mean, uh, if all I have to shoot is layups, I mean, that's the highest percentage shot. So, I mean, I'll take those. What does it say about this team that you guys have played three games now and um, three different players leading and scoring? Um, I think that just shows uh, – how diverse our team is. Like you saw Elijah carried the low last game and I lost Cruces. He had 31 or something. So it could be any person any night. Cullen could go off, EB, Sam. I mean, even some guys on the bench can come out and have 20, you know. So I think we have a lot of guys who can put the ball in the hole. It's just whose night it is. How much did the carry from Sunday for you? Uh, you know, four, I think it was four points early and end up in nine. But I mean, foul trouble really limited what you could do Sunday. How much carry over from that game led to what you it was a lot, and uh, that game was a learning experience. Uh, today, I think I played uh, a lot more with my hands up. I might have had one foul, maybe. So, um, I mean, I learned from that, and um, uh, I felt that I had to stay on the floor tonight because uh, I felt like I let my team down against New Mexico State, just getting in foul trouble and not playing a lot. Um, yeah, it was definitely an emotional game, but um, you know, we love Devin, and um, everybody wrote uh, D. Will on their shoes or something to represent him. And you know, that's that's that was hard for us, but we came together and uh, got a big win for him. When did you guys really start to click? Because all the assumption is that new faces on the floor might take some time, but really, you guys on the floor played really well together. Yeah, um, I think the guys are getting used to each other. Um, we're getting more comfortable because. I mean, 
from the summer we've clicked off the court like we're so close and then now we're bringing that onto the court talking and communicating and you know we might jump on a guy or two but you know they know we're our brothers and we don't really mean anything by it <laughs> they'll be talking a lot of trash but that was a big shot for c joy everybody was happy for him <laughs>